voting in Iowa. Uh, you yeah. were talking a little bit how it's you know kind of interesting yeah. to see it here. What's it like to come in from another state and kind of see how it uh, operates in Iowa? Well, some of the uh, laws in Iowa are really exciting to me. This idea of satellite voting where uh, groups of citizens can petition for a polling place um, for a day uh, in advance of the election, especially for folks who may not have access to public transportation or um, private automobiles, etc. I think everything that we can do to encourage participation by all citizens is incredibly important. And in too many places around the country right now, we're seeing uh, obstacles thrown into people's way uh, in terms of uh, their right to vote. Well, I, I mean, what's it like to kind of see the dichotomy that in some parts of the, the nation you're seeing a lot of voter ID laws and a lot of places that would be exclusionary, at least on the service. Well, you know, it, it takes away from our democracy when we don't have... Um, uh, as much participation as, as possible. I, I think about how much I value democracy and uh, the idea of a government for and by and of the people. Well, when, um, you know, when billionaires who control super PACs and put money in um, begin to silence the voice of the people, we're in trouble. And I see that happening too many places. I'm certainly seeing a little bit of that here in Iowa. And and, um, you know, the people have to say, uh, it's not the Koch brothers, it's not Carl Rove who control the outcome of elections, it's the people of Iowa in terms of the Senate race. Slightly off topic, but you were the first female senator from Wisconsin. I am. What was it like to kind of go through that process? And obviously that's what Joe Harris is trying to do here at Iowa. And so I kind of thank him on that last eight quarters of the right one being the first female yeah. senator. Well, let me step back. Um, I was first elected to the um, U.S. House of Representatives back in 1998. And at that time was the first woman elected to either House of Congress from the state of Wisconsin. So 150 years since statehood, and it took that long to elect a woman. Um, but I think that what's really important uh, is that we have legislative bodies that reflect the diversity of America. And um, we make better laws when a wide range of life experiences are at the table. Um, and Bruce Braley brings uh, an exceptional life experience uh, to the table as a policymaker, whether it's an advocacy on behalf of, um, prior to being elected to Congress, his advocacy on behalf of those um, you know, who had been wronged in the justice system, or those, um, you know, I know his spouse is a teacher and he's um, so focused on the education issues. And back when I served in the House, uh, Bruce Braley and I served on the Energy and Commerce Committee together. Um, you know, he understands the importance to Iowa of getting energy policy right, uh, both for Iowa's economy, but also for um, Iowa's precious resources. And one last for me, is, um, in, in terms of how uh, gender breaks down for voting, a lot more women are voting for Bruce than they are for Joe Harris. What does that kind of say about her, her policies that she is looking to kind of break this barrier, and she doesn't seem to have the female vote behind her? Well, the, the gender gap, as it's been studied in the United States for years and years, is about um, women voting for candidates that are addressing the issues of greatest concern to women, which tend to be the kitchen table pocketbook issues. Many women make the financial decisions for their family, um, as well as the shopping lists, um, make educational decisions, make health care decisions. And so the people who address those issues and, frankly, who have a plan to deal with the economic security and struggles that families are facing across the nation and across the state, that's who they're voting for. And there's no question that Bruce Braley is that candidate who um, has the experience but is focusing in on how to move our economy forward, how to make a college more affordable, how to address paycheck equity so that women actually get a fair shake in their paychecks, too. I have just a few questions. I'm just talking about the students, the importance of continuing on with Senator Cruz's legacy. 
um, should he be elected? What do you think Bruce really needs to do, or you know, how is he going to work with? Do you consider that like a seat? Any, any examples you have? Absolutely. Well, I am honored as a new senator. You know, I was just elected two years ago to sit on one of the committees that Senator Huffman shares, and that's the Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee, otherwise known as the Health Committee. He has championed um, raising the minimum wage. Uh, he has championing closing the, um, the paycheck gap between women and men. He has championed um, more affordable higher education, including the ability to refinance uh, uh, student loans that are at high interest rates to lower interest rates, but he doesn't stop there. It's about how to make higher education accessible and attainable for all who are eligible. And I uh, there's no question in my mind that uh, Bruce Braley is going to uh, step into those shoes and make Iowa proud. Uh, when I served with him in the House of Representatives and why I so desperately want to continue serving with him now that I'm in the Senate as a colleague in the U.S. Senate, um, you know, he's really uh, held uh, those issues of uh, access to higher education, uh, minimum, uh, increasing the minimum wage, um, closing the pay gap. He's been a champion in the House. Now he wants to do that for all Iowans, and uh, I'm really excited about it. Uh, any other options uh, or opinions on Stacey Apple? Or, um, I mean, obviously she's also another woman running as a Democrat. Any other options on her? Well, I, I, um, I, I told the person who succeeded me to the House of Representatives from Wisconsin, his name is Mark Copan. I'm going to focus on the Iowa Senate race. I want you to get out there and focus on the um, Iowa House races. And I know he's uh, he's actually making a trip out here very shortly to go on the stump with uh, Stacey Apple. I hear fabulous things about her and her courage in the um, Iowa Senate, uh, State Senate, and I think she'd be a great member of the House. Okay.